Hello everybody, uh, today I'm going to be talking to you about a walking cycle um, how and or like just any type of cycling motion uh, something that's going to make your life a lot easier because like say if you wanted to have somebody walk across your stage or some or like a bird flying um, you would have to have like all those layers independently moving and all coordinated with each other for example the torso would be moving across the stage and then you would have to have like the little feet like waggling uh, with each other or the same thing with a bird kind of flying you would just have to have things all coordinate all these layers that are co Corresponding with each other as they go across the stage. That's a lot of work making uh, Like one little walking cycle like say like one little like left right left and Saving that as an independent little movie then you just take that and put that and have that animate across your screen Makes your life so much easier for example, okay, first I'll show you the bird. I've got it drawn already. I've got like a, uh, like a, a walking cycle drawn already. Uh, I just want to do this in order to try and make your life a little bit easier. Uh, and, okay, so let's start. Right now I've just got my bird uh, drawn. And you see how everything is all independent, like little graphics. And what happens when you go to tween them, it kind of groups them all together, right? Like it takes all that stuff, it groups it so it all animate across the screen together. And that's fine, let's, let's kind of do that. Um, so I'm going to, first I'm going to drag this across the screen. Okay, and I've just kind of made it larger on my timeline, that's all. And I'm gonna tell the computer that I'm gonna tween it. But really, I'm not going to now. I just, the idea is I just wanna take all these things and force the computer to group it. So I, you see here, I've now grouped all these things into one item, and it works for me to tween it if I want. Okay, now this is the interesting part. I'm going to double click on that, and it kind of opens up into this whole separate little dimension, a whole this whole separate little editing mode. If I double click on it, okay, here we are, and we don't have like, we don't have a stage anymore. We're just like in this editing mode, and my timeline, it's got its own timeline. And you can see here it says clip. So there's my project where it had all my timeline, but this, we're editing that one particular graphic, that clip, okay? So let's, in this little timeline, we're, this is where we're gonna make the bird flap. So I'm gonna make a new layer, and actually we're gonna name this layer uh, bird. Uh, bird. And then I'm gonna make a new layer and another new layer, and I'm going to call it wing. Uh, I'll just call it left wing. And you get the idea. And I'm going to call this one right. Just naming it so you kind of understand. So now this, you can see how everything's like all separate things inside, okay? Because we're inside that group. Um, so we're going to take that wing, and I'm going to cut it. And then I'm going to go to, say, the left side. Actually, I'm going to go to the right side first, make a new spot for me to put it, and I'm going to paste it. And then I'm going to move that over here. And I'm going to flip it, and that's going to be the right wing. And actually, since I'm here, I'm just going to... That's a good spot for it. Okay, the left wing. Put a blank frame in there so I can just paste that in. And I'm just going to uh, put there. So now these things aren't really... Um, these are all ungrouped now, so we need to uh, tween them. So uh, my, my, my cycle, my flapping, is going to be pretty quick. Oh, wait, sorry. I should have dragged those up. That's better. And so really, uh, each, this is like half a second, because it's only like 12 frames, and I work at, I'm working at 24 frames a second, so this little cycle here is only going to be um, half a second. So on the right one, let's, uh, I'm going to tell the computer that I want to flap this right wing. So we're going to add our, uh, add our little animation. And then this guy, now here's a little, another little trick. I could go along here and I could have the flap come down. I could just kind of rotate that down and then come here and then kind of, and then come and put it back. And I could be close to it, like here, but I kind of want to match up this with this. And yeah, yeah, actually, it's actually pretty close. Um, 
but I think what would probably be easier, just a little trick as, as we're getting better with using the program and backing up here. Okay, if I were just to go here, I just go to the end and I'm just going to add another keyframe with this in the exact same spot. So if I just click here, it just automatically, okay, just adds another keyframe from there. So now if I go to the middle and bend it down, that's a nice little cheat, okay? So now, uh, so now it's, I've got it up, it's going to flap and then come down all the way to the exact same spot. So I play that. All right, good. Now, we'll just do the same thing to the uh, left side really quick. Keyframe, keyframe in the same spot. Put that down, animate that down. There we go. So just kind of put that there. And so now uh, we have our little flapping cycle. Okay, so now we're done. Uh, so now everything is, is just, everything just becomes so much easier now because now we've done that. Let's go back to our project. Here's our bird. Our bird is huge, but I don't have any animating going on. I hit play and it just, it plays that. Now the beauty of this is, okay, let's animate this now. Here's my stage. I'm going to have the bird starting like really small. I keep, uh, I want to stretch a note on me here. So let's just hold down the shift key and there we go. That's proportional now. And there we go. And so now he's going to start up here and then later on in time, he's going to be bigger. Holding down the shift key first. And he's coming like right out at you like so. Okay, I hit play. So much easier. Can you imagine doing all that without doing the little looping cycle? That'd be terrible, okay? So in fact, you can just, okay, I don't, he, oh no, the wind is blowing him. Oh no, he's correct, trying to correct himself. What's happening now? So it just, just makes your life so much easier. Okay, second example, uh, you kind of get the idea. Uh, let's save this. Okay, going to open up my, um, going to go open up. I have a walking cycle here. Uh, oh, I gotta go my downloads, walking cycle. Gonna open that up. Okay, so same thing. Just gonna have this guy, gonna take, gonna extend that out two seconds. I, I could do this later, it doesn't matter. But regardless, I just wanna uh, tween this so it turns that, all that, our, that stuff into a, a single grouped item. Then I can double click on it to go into editing mode. And the only thing I'm gonna do here is uh, take that leg New. We're going to call that leg one or left leg and call this leg two. Okay. And so now I just go here, add some new keyframes and paste. Okay. I got that one there and I got uh, that one there. Okay. So now uh, let's just do the same thing, the exact same thing as the bird. Exact same thing as the bird. Oops. Not sure why that is selecting that or not. Let's back up. All right, so let's just grab this guy. Well, I've got them both selected. Okay, uh, not sure why that is kind of wigging out on me right now. I don't have anything selected. Hopefully I can just get rid of that. There we go. Okay. Uh, so now I've got my walking cycle. These guys are going to be uh, animated. So I click that, animate, click that, animate. Um, and let's put these two legs into position. 
this guy is going to be here. Kind of tilt it that way. And then this guy is going to be tilted this way. Okay, maybe I'd have this leg maybe in front and then it's in, then the other one's in behind. So now I got one leg in front, one leg in behind. So now, uh, same, exact same thing. I'm going to go to the end of my walking cycle and just add uh, another little uh, keyframe here. So now, because I got to end up in the same position and now I'm just in the middle of my walking position, going to switch them. So this guy winds up like about here and then we have the other step forward okay there we go so we have a little animation okay so now we've done that we've got our little walking cycle oh he's walking really fast that's all right actually let's slow him down i'm going to extend that Grab, just grab that, grab that, grab that, grab that keyframe, grab that keyframe. We just need to have these keyframes kind of halfway to have it make sense. And now we just have more frames for it to travel. So now he's walking slower. Okay. So now uh, let's get out of our clip, go back to our project and the exact same thing. We're just going to have him. Uh, start here and later on in time have him move across and now we animate so much easier okay you get the idea okay so thanks very much folks uh, good luck with it uh, if you have any questions just ask